What's up YouTube, Zero here. And today I'm going to give you a Kensei armor build that's extremely balanced and also going to make you a kunai master. So first, the charms. Charm of Hidden Blades, Charm of Ryujin, Charm of Silence, Charm of Resolve 2, Charm of Inari's Might, and the Charm of Resistance. That can be turned up to 3 if you have it. So the Charm of Hidden Blades throw two additional kunai. The Charm of Ryujin recover one kunai after performing a perfect dodge. The Charm of Silence reduces enemy detection by 15% and increases resolve gains by an amount. Charm of Resolve increases resolve. Charm of Inari's Might increases health and melee damage by an amount. And the Charm of Resistance reduces all damage by a moderate amount. So now onto the armor. We have the Kensei Armor which 30% increase to resolve gains. Ghost weapons deal 30% more damage, and striking an enemy with a ghost weapon causes that enemy to deal 50% less damage and receive 50% more damage. So now that we've talked about what we need, let's talk about where to get them and then why I love this setup. So first, the Charm of Ryujin is at the Hazy Cliff Shrine. The Charm of Hidden Blades you get as a reward for the Ariaki Lighthouse. The Charm of Resolve 2 you can get from the side quest The Fool. The Charm of Silence and the Charm of Inari's Might are rewards for completing a certain amount of Fox Shrines. And there are a bunch of Charm of Resistances within this game. I'm only going to tell you about the Charm of Resistance 2 and 3. 2 you can get from the Last Warrior Monk side quest or the Blood Sutra side quest. And the Charm 3 you can get from the Guardian of Tsushi Tsushima side quest. So now let's talk about this setup and why I love it, why I think it's amazing, balanced, and why I think you should use it. So the first two charms we looked at are going to help us with those kunais. The charm of hidden blades we already saw. I'm going to be able to throw additional kunai, which pairs well with the kensei armor because ghost weapons are dealing more damage and... When I hit enemies with ghost weapons, they're receiving more damage and doing less damage. There have been times in this game where I've hit five enemies with my kunai, and then I was able to kill all of them before they even came out of being staggered, which is just awesome. And that's because of the damage, the extra damage that I was doing to them. Now the charm of Ryujin, if you're good at dodging, you're always going to have kunai. So make sure you practice those perfect dodges and you're going to be able to get those kunai back. I know I've been trying to practice my perfect dodges, but unfortunately, and this is where the charm of resistance comes in, trying to dodge sometimes I don't, which means I get hit a decent amount. And that's where the charm of resistance comes in. I'm taking less damage. The Charm of Silence and Charm of Inari's Might, again, playing to that balanced build where it's going to give me increased damage and also increase my health, which is definitely awesome, helping me out a little bit on both the defensive and offensive sides. So, and the Charm of Resolve, again, we're adding on to the Kensei armor because we already increase our resolve. So let's increase it more with the Charm of Resolve 2. We're now increasing it by 55% instead of 30%. And resolve is used for pretty much anything in the game. If you want to do some cool offensive attacks like I did just there, then you use resolve. If you want to heal up because you're not dodging as well as as you hope to, I mean, I definitely don't, so I have to use a lot of my resolve to heal up, but that's why I have those resolve gains to help me do that. So I hope y'all enjoyed this build. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more Ghost of Tsushima content. Well, until next time, peace.